Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a quick video of this new NARS powder. I got so many requests to uh, test this powder out, see what I think about it. So I went to Sephora, picked it up and here we are. I also got one other Refi lip liner. This is in Rosewood. I think I have Fawn or Taupe. Let me check. It is taupe. I love this so much and I've been wanting to try the rosewood. Thought maybe it wasn't quite as brown as 90s. So that's what we're doing today. I will hopefully do a check-in in natural light of this powder and it's kind of midday so I can't do a full day wear test but I will I'll try to do my best to wear it as much as I can. So this is the Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder from NARS and um, I got mine in the shade Creek, I think. Yes, Creek. It's funny because I put in an online order, uh, a pickup order and I sent Andrew and I had him swatch like three different shades. Bless him, uh, he did a great job. But this is the packaging and look how thin it is. I love it. This comes in the soft matte uh, black packaging and it is extremely thin that I love so much. I think um, I wasn't expecting this, but it was a good surprise. This is how it looks inside. This is the color Creek. Let's swatch it real quick. There it is right there. Again, they had them all in store, but I wasn't able to go to swatch them, so I kind of eyeballed it. I'm wondering if this is gonna be a little too light. It's supposed to have, I think, medium coverage. Uh, we'll see. But there, just this packaging, I love it so much. I think because I think of my makeup kit as a makeup artist, I'm like, oh my gosh, I could have all the colors I need in like this much space and have all of them. It's, I love this packaging so much. So this is $36, you get nine grams of product and it is a pressed powder formula, best for oily skin, interesting. It is a matte finish, medium coverage. It says it's natural finish, also matte finish. Okay, um, and let's see any other highlighting ingredients, cocoa butter, niacinamide, adaptive oil control technology. Um, so I was thinking, oh, should I try to swatch it on my face as a powder foundation? But it's not marketed as a powder foundation. It's marketed more as a setting powder. It says it's a multi-purpose skin perfecting powder that blurs imperfections, smooths the skin, the look of skin, and sets makeup for up to 24 hours. So the concealer I have underneath is the Coolfee concealer. This is in Coco Crush. It is my every single day concealer. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure that everything is kind of smooth because I've all I was gonna do a basic eye look and then it got smokier and smokier, but that's okay matches my my leather jacket um so i'm just gonna make sure that there's no creases or anything on my skin before we get into the powder so the powder feels very creamy maybe thicker than some of my other powders and look at that like it definitely has coverage i wouldn't say it's full coverage but you have to kind of think of the shade that you want. This shade is for light with cool undertones and I don't see any cool undertones. Uh, Andrew swatched the one with light and warm undertones and that looked very yellow. And I also swatched the sun, let me look it up. The sun shore, which is medium with cool undertones and that also looked quite deep and yellow. So I'm, I don't know, the shades, We'll see. Again, I can't speak because I was in store, but based on the videos and swatches that he has sent me, I was a little hesitant to pick one. To me, this looks much more neutral rather than cool tone. So let's take that. This is a Wayne Goss and this picks up a lot. There's a storm outside, but let's tap some off and hopefully you guys can see. I'm going to start on this side and pat under this eye. 
That concealer that I have is more of a medium coverage, it's not full coverage. So this should give us a little extra coverage. This jacket makes so much noise, it probably wasn't a good idea to wear it, but um, I definitely can see a difference between the powdered version, um, the powdered under eyes and the other one. It definitely looks a little bit more blurring, but the powder is more heavy than I usually like. I like a very barely there powder, but I am trying to, you know, think of other people that need to set their under eyes. This is supposed to be better for oily skin, so I'm trying to think of that as well. The color, I think it's fine. I honestly think it's not too noticeable um, where I the, the lighter one would ruin my makeup or not. I could see maybe if you get the really light one that it would give you a lot of brightness, but I like this color for me. Um, I mean, it's definitely very smoothing and I can tell that it added almost a layer of extra coverage. Um, because that concealer is more of a medium coverage. It doesn't have full coverage. I also did not correct. I usually try to correct my dark circles. I decided to skip that just to see how the powder would do. But right now, I think it looks it looks really nice, a very smooth. Um, yeah, the pores are very blurred, so that's pretty good. I am kind of getting excited for this. I'm going to powder this area right here. And I'm going to do a side-by-side. -side. Let's powder the nose. I usually tend to powder the nose uh, because it gets a little bit oilier throughout the day. And then this side. Okay, let's zoom you super close so you can see the difference with powder on this side and then without powder on this side. And even though I like it, I do feel like this has more coverage that I usually like in a powder. Um, it, it definitely smoothed out my under eyes, but I can see how this can get a little heavy for me on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, but I will wear it a little bit more throughout the day to really see how it settles because sometimes when you first apply the powder, you just need a little bit more time for it to get into your skin and just mesh with a foundation or concealer. So this is how we're looking at right now. I think it's nice, gave me a little bit of coverage, not too much, um, and definitely blurred my pores. So let's do this side. It is definitely very blurring. I can see the second I touch the powder to my skin, those pores just like disappear. So this is how the powder looks like. I left it about five minutes to see just how my skin, you know, works with it um i have to say it's it's fine but it's not my all-time favorite and this powder is supposed to be more of a um, setting a powder it's not supposed to be a finishing powder um it says here that it's supposed to set your makeup up to 24 hours also you can kind of use this as a powder all over without foundation but this would I wouldn't consider this a foundation powder um, it doesn't have enough coverage and to me it, it really is more of a, a blurring powder that's kind of sets and gives you a little bit more coverage for wherever you need now I knew this going in and I wasn't really expecting this to be more like my closest powder that's like barely there or my makeup forever um, a powder that it's absolutely unnoticeable. I did expect to see some coverage, which I think from time to time I want this and I kind of need this. I would say compared to, for example, Charlotte Tilbury, I have it right here. I think this has more coverage and it's a little bit thicker and creamier as um, it goes on the skin. The Charlotte Tilbury is more light, airy, and it has the slightest bit of coverage. This has more coverage, medium. I would say that medium is a good, uh, a good description of this powder. Now the way it sits on my skin, it's not my favorite, it's not my like horrible. It's just a little bit more noticeable that I usually like. So, um, I could see how this could look absolutely beautiful on somebody that has oilier under eyes and just overall to set their whole 
makeup, I think that that would be absolutely beautiful. But for me, as somebody that has more normal to dry skin, I don't tend to reach for these kind of powders. However, it does look very blurring and perfecting. And I do like, I have to say, I do enjoy the extra coverage a little bit. However, I'm craving for a setting spray. I'm craving for some sort of moisture to put on top of this. So we'll see how it meshes in. I am going to Put my blush and all the other one uh, all the other products on um i will try the refi real quick before we do that i am so excited about this i have loved this since summertime i have used it so much it is in my purse all the time it's like one of my go-to lip liners i like that it's kind of more 90s vibe i like the texture that it has when you put it on top like the um, uh, little silicone product right here i don't even know how to describe it but i love this and i've been wanting another shade i'm gonna swatch them side by side so here we have taupe and then rosewood and rosewood is definitely more rosy and slightly deeper i'm gonna use the mirror from here it's good size and i love the compact it's so light but it doesn't feel cheap anyway let's move on Ooh, i like that color so much i absolutely love this color i think it is gorgeous um the key with this is you want to put the lip product wherever you want it to stay forever. <laughs> this does not budge. I mean, it stays on all day for me. And so I usually tend to fill in my lip with uh, the lip liner and use it as a lipstick almost. Because once you set it with this product, it's almost like a topper. It feels a little silicone-y. It almost seals in the product. It doesn't move. And you can't really add on top of it you can't really go uh, and it fix mistakes or want to add more product because it's sealed in so make sure you just have the lip liner wherever you want it to stay so then you add i use my finger oh i love this and that is the color rosewood from refi absolutely love it i feel like it's gonna be my go-to i adore this color i love the effect that it has mm, i love it it's so good i'm i'm just gonna probably collect them all they have some deeper colors as well um that i think would be really fun and i think the the best thing about this is the finish it gives it a very unique finish um also they last all day long okay that is the finished look i am loving how everything looks again i am well actually this is not the finished look i did not do um my uh blush bronzer and all that i'm gonna do that and be right back now i am done i bronzed up a little bit i put a little bit of the blush this blush from chanel is 55 in love and i've been using it a lot I've had it in my collection for a long time, but I just love it. I feel like it's it's beautiful. Anyway, um, so I've been kind of looking through my powders that I have here, and I pulled the more pressed powders, like the Fenty Beauty, the Gucci. Um, again, I have the Charlotte Tilbury, and kind of swatch them all. And honestly, this one from NARS is the most thick and creamy almost uh it's not that thickness in the way that it's chalky or anything like that it's just a very pigmented and yeah it has it has quite a bit of coverage compared to all my other ones even the fenty that the fenty is promoting this as a powder foundation um and this one has more coverage than the fenty um, or similar they have similar coverage you can't see a thing because it's powder but when i swatch it this from nars feels much creamier and just um more heavy but very blendable and soft and creamy i know that that i would say is the best word for it because see how intense it is um and then you blend it in 
and it really does blend away but gives you you know some brightness anyway i've decided not to spray my face because i don't want it to alter the way this foundation or this powder will wear throughout the day so i'm going to leave it like that i did put a tiny bit of the charlotte tilbury highlighter in pillow talk it's very kind of soft and barely there i like it um, and that's about it. All right guys, I'll see you in a little bit. I am outside and it is extremely cloudy and it's just not a good light, but I wanted to come quickly before I lose all the natural light and kind of show you how the under eyes look like. I think it still looks nice. Um, I haven't worn it for too long. I just really wanted to get out here in natural light to show you um, how it looks like it looks nice it looks a little bit maybe more heavy than it i usually like but um i feel a little awkward because all the parents are waiting for their kids at the bus but anyway um yeah this is how it looks like in natural light i probably won't be able to do another check-in in natural light because it's just so cloudy and dark so that's it for now i'll show you at the end of the day how it's wearing all right guys this is about seven hours into the wear test i'm gonna end it here it's the end of the day for me um like i mentioned i didn't get to start recording early in the morning it was more after lunch and so this is the best we could do but i think i have a good understanding of this powder and what it has to offer my thoughts are kind of the same i do enjoy it i don't think it's a bad powder i think it's actually really nice for somebody who likes their makeup set really well this powder to me feels a little thicker a little creamier there's quite a lot of it when you swatch it but it does blend away softly i would say you can get for a powder for like a setting powder a medium coverage is understandable but it's not as a foundation so don't expect this to be used as a foundation but um one thing i want to try actually let's zoom you in real close this is how it's looking like under the eyes. I honestly don't feel like it moved much. If anything, it did kind of blend into my skin a little bit more. I wish I set it and I think I will, when I wear this foundation, I will set it um, just with a setting spray or something to melt, make it melt into my skin just a little bit more but i really don't think it's bad i think it really did very well around the pore areas around my nose right here i don't love it i feel like i can see some dryness there it's nothing tragic but you know i have powders that don't do that however those powders don't give me maybe as much coverage and as much setting um, this is definitely a little bit more intense of a powder. So now what I want to do is I want to see how this will touch up because I can see this being an amazing touch up powder just because it's so tiny, it's so sleek and I feel like this kind of coverage and this kind of texture would do well. So I'm going to take a little bit here and you can see it picks up a lot and... I have some darkness there let's see it's not like i need anything really set i think it really held it really nice and you know the oils away from my pores oh wow that looks actually beautiful like i feel that that really did set and it made everything look really nice so i see myself using this a lot as a touch-up powder i love the compact i love that i have a good mirror and i really like the way it went over everything i think that made it look really nice and smooth and not heavier so this is with a touch-up and then without also i did not touch up my lip whatsoever it has faded in the inner part right here but i still have it on the outside i did eat you know some oilier stuff and when i put this product on i didn't put it all the way in but i feel like for the end of the day it's 10 o'clock at night it held up really well so i love that product but 
uh, the powder, my thoughts on it. So I think this is a great powder. I think you just need to know what you're getting so yourself into. If you're like me and you like barely their powder, like no noticeable, just set the concealer so we won't crease and that's about it then this may be a little bit much for you. But if you're looking for more blurriness, slight coverage, a great touch-up powder, um, something that will set your makeup, like really set it, I think this is a great option. It is more intense than the Charlotte Tilbury. I, I'm comparing them because I use this Charlotte Tilbury to kind of set this area throughout the day or touch up the area throughout the day. So that's kind of how I feel like I'm gonna use the NARS one. Just touch up throughout the day, have it in my makeup bag at all times. Um, I like just overall the effect. For me personally, it was slightly too drying. I could see it more around my nose that I see other powders and I know my base really well. Uh, I mean, the concealer I use, I use it every single day and I don't see quite as much dryness around, you know, the nose area mainly and right up here, like right in this area right here. I felt like there was a little bit more powder, more dryness than I would like, but this was promoted from what I could see online for oilier skin. And I really think that this is gonna be great for that. I really think you can even take a puff and like pat it uh, for touch-ups. You can really contour probably the cheek area. Let's do that. I'm gonna take a little bit and see, that's really nice. It like defines it a little bit compared to here. Yeah, I think that does a really good job. So I think overall, this is a great powder. I am considering um, getting probably all the colors and putting them in my makeup kit because this packaging, just for me, it's like amazing. Uh, very practical. I have the rare beauty here, right? So, I mean, it's, it's just amazing. Even the Charlotte Tilbury that it's tiny, this is even sleeker than that one. So overall, I like it. I think it's good, it's practical. Those are kind of my thoughts on the powder. I think I like it now at the end of the day more than when I initially put it on. It felt like it blended into my skin a little bit more, which I was expecting that. Also, I have a feeling that putting a setting spray on top of this powder will just make it look so beautiful. So that is everything for today. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I hope you have a good one and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.